Today is a super exciting day. Today we are buying our third Tesla in our lifetime, which is crazy to think. I can't believe that. Our first one was a used Model S, which we really liked. Our second one that we still own is a 100D Model X. It's white, it's awesome, we love the thing, it was new. Something happened a few weeks ago. I was doing what I was doing all the time. I go onto Tesla Inventory, which is our friend Eric's website, and I was searching for new cars, and I noticed that over 200 P100D Model Xs came online. And the cool thing about it was it had a crazy, crazy discount. And then I started adding in the federal tax credit, my Tesla Roadster referral thing. All of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, we need to buy another Tesla. I'm gonna explain the numbers to you a little bit later of how good of a deal it was. But first, we gotta go in and let's check out this car. I still haven't even seen it in person yet, so let's do this, Tesla time. This is it. We are walking through the service bay right now. There's a really cool baby blue Tesla Roadster behind me. It's awesome. The car's ready. It's not in the delivery area inside. They have it outside ready for me. They've got a crazy process here at different Tesla stations around the US. They're just pumping out cars. Like I'm so excited to see Q3 numbers from Elon because I think the delivery numbers are gonna surprise everybody on Wall Street and everybody in Detroit and Germany when they see how many cars they've actually produced and sold. This is what we got guys, a black, P100D Model X. It's not blacked out yet, but it is nice. Oh yeah, that looks good. So this is it, this is our new Model X P100D. I'm super excited. We are officially getting rid of our Honda Pilot and we're going all electric. And honestly, after watching Elon Musk on Joe Rogan's podcast talk about carbon emissions, I've never really bought these cars to save the planet in a way. I bought them because they're fast and they're cool. But after listening to them, I'm like, you know what? If I can afford to get electric cars and kind of decrease my carbon footprint, I'm all about it. So I told you that I got a discount on this. Let me explain a little bit. This car is a P100D. First, we got a $7,500 tax rebate that is going away in the United States at the end of this calendar year, 2018. The second discount is because I have um, like something like 25 referrals on the Tesla Roadster, every time I get a referral, I get $5,000 off of the Tesla Roadster, which that's gonna be going away at some point. So buying a car myself, I'm referring myself, that's $5,000 off. Free supercharging, it just went away three days ago. Three days ago, you can never again buy a Tesla and get free supercharging for life. So for the life of this car, anytime I go on road trips and charge at the supercharging station, it doesn't cost me a penny. We do a lot of road trips, so that definitely adds up over the years. We've used it a ton on our other Tesla. Let's put the cost of that of being $2,000 a year in cost savings for gas. Let's say I'm gonna have this for four years, so let's throw that number up there. We'll have $8,000 as a discount. And the second to last discount, but is one of the biggest discounts, is this car is in a way used. It was the Tesla floor model. They used it for demonstration purposes and it has around 4,000 miles on it. So I'm not getting a brand new sparkly clean zero miles car on it. Because of that, Tesla, at the end of the year, they wanted to unload a bunch of their floor models so that next year they have the 2019s in there and this car fit what I wanted. And the beauty is, let's add up that tally, this car Tesla discounted $22,500. <laughs> That's crazy. You know the positives on that price that I just mentioned. What are some of the negatives of buying a car that is in a way new inventory or it's used? First of all, people have probably done a ton of launch modes in this. Like they take it out, they test drive it, and they launch it. So the driving is probably not ideal for the battery. So you have that usage on the battery, on the car of launching it, ludicrous speed going 2.8 or 2.9 seconds, zero to 60. That definitely factors into it. The other problem with buying a car that is new inventory is check out the rims. This is all scratched right here. So somebody was driving and they rubbed up against the curb. The tires don't look brand new. I was a little disappointed by that because um, when I had talked to the sales rep, I had been told that it's they put new wheels and rims on all of the new cars, but now that I have a car, like what can I do? They told me here that they don't. So you've got the scratch on that one. This rim looks pretty good. This rim right here, right there is a little bit of a scratch. Right there is a little bit of a scratch. I can feel it and see it. Here's the front tire. I uh, feel a little bit of a scuff there. Right there on the main turbine, turbine thing, 
that is scratched also. So three out of the four tires are scratched. I'm not super happy about that, but like the guy said that was delivering it to me, that's why you get it for $22,500 off. The other thing that I noticed right away when looking at the wheels and the tires is that the brakes and the brake calipers, it looks like there's a little bit of rust on it. Maybe they drove it in a little bit of the snow out in New York over the last eight months or so while it was a demo car. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that, but again, the discount. And then the last thing that I've noticed that is, again, not ideal, is on the front of the car right there. That's white right there. So that's a scratch in the paint right there. A rock chip, a couple little rock chips. And then down here on the front, if I rub my hand across it, I can feel some of the rock chips and you can see them the indentions that they have in here. It looks like some of them, they took a little paint touch up like right there and right there to try to mask the color of it. Right there is a bigger size chip. You can kind of see that one. Overall though, the paint, they fixed it up well. It looks shiny and clean. I'm gonna go probably to my friends um, at the Lux Auto Spa and get a ceramic coating on this so that it protects the paint from here on out, get a clear bra on the front. But um, even with that, you still have a little bit of the chips on there. I'm driving the car, I'm leaving the lot. This is officially ours, I'm super excited. There's a few things that are different between a P100D and just your regular 100D that we have back home. First of all, we do have tow mode. So apparently we can tow a trailer with this. I don't know if it has, I didn't see the hitch in the back, but at least we have that mode and all that stuff set up. But then even better than that, we have the launch mode. I wanna test it out, I'm like in a random street, so I'm not gonna fully test it out, but I gotta feel how much faster is this car than my other one? All right, so we push this button right here, which I've never had before. This is like the ludicrous speed. It pops up on the screen and says, are you sure you wanna push the limits? This will cause accelerated wear of the motor, gearbox, and battery. Which again, this was a car that people drove around and probably did this a lot of times, so. Not ideal. No, I want my mommy. Yes, bring it on. This is the moment of truth. Oh, gee. <laughs> that never gets old! That is so fast! Woo! I only went like 0 to 45, but wow! Okay, this car is fast! The last thing I didn't mention is that if you own a business, and if you're able to buy this on the business, if it's like a corporation, again, this is something that you would need to talk to your own individual accountant on. I'm not giving tax advice now. If you own a business, a corporation, and this is heavy enough to qualify under the truck exemption, and you can get accelerated depreciation. A lot of people will do, within five years you depreciate the car. There are some ways that you could even accelerate it faster. So based off of my tax bracket and how that'll all play out, you can save anywhere from 30 to $45,000 in tax. Let's just, let's leave it at 40. So another $40,000 discount just on the tax side of things. So yeah, basically here's how much of a discount I'm getting off of this car by buying it. I'm happy about that. Model X P100D for that price. Now I need to go drive for a few hours and go find the family and let them see the car. They're gonna be pumped. If ever in the West Coast, make sure you get in and out. So good. Wanna see something crazy? I just pulled up to a supercharging station on my drive. Look at this. They're all closed for the road, but there are two right here and I was able to squeeze in. I'm actually up against the caution wire. Driving the car for 200 miles, it ran great. Feels just like a Tesla. But man, look how annoying this is. You've got one Model 3 right here, one Model 3 right there, and then those two cars. Only two spots to charge. And if you're driving from Las Vegas, Nevada to Salt Lake City, Utah, this is the only supercharging station for a really long time. I won't fully charge, I'll go to the next one because I don't want these people to have to wait for too long because I know what that's like. I've done that before, but man, super annoying. It's here. fancy. It's black. I like it. I have to drive it a little bit. I like my white interior. So. Good, I'm glad you like the white one because this one's mine. But this one feels really clean. It feels, when you're driving around and it's sunny, it feels darker in here. Really? Because the car is darker. Okay, now it's time for Claire and her friends to see it. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm scared. Okay, so it's, don't be that afraid. It's, it's not like as fast as the car version would be. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, I can feel the blood rush off my body. You know, like I know, like it that. goes like, <laughs> it like holds you back, like you can't get back up. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Helps if you put your head on the back if you don't want to feel sick. But here we go. Three, two, one. Same. Or it's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. <laughs> Very ludicrous. Do you think mom would like that? No. Not one bit. She would hate that. <laughs> That's why she gets the white car. That's zero to sixty in four point eight seconds. This one's two point eight. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Yeah. So I asked Claire if Mama would like it, and she said no. Mama will not like it. Really? She'll like the white one so much more. Probably. Than this one. I get sick. I feel sick if we go too fast. Okay. Well, I just ate a bunch of cornflakes too. Oh, cornflakes are the worst. Special K. First thing we need to do is push ludicrous oh mode. Gosh. Okay. No okay. peeing. <laughs> Don't say that because I will. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I knew it was going to be fast, but that's nuts. <laughs> what on earth? Why did they make it so fast? It's because it's Elon Musk and he's the best. <gasps> it's the fastest minivan in the world. <laughs> my word. You feel like... You do. You feel it in your whole body. Oh, no! Don't, don't do it! My neck's on the side! Oh my gosh, what if the police were right around the corner? There's no police here. <gasps> Time to see Lincoln's reaction. Let's go to Ludacris. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fast. That's really fast. Yeah. Well. <laughs> His reaction was not quite as excited as Leslie's. Thoughts on the new car? I love the black interior. You like the wood? It'll grow on me. I told him that joke earlier. There's Lincoln. To our first pit stop. First pit stop. I think this is a good place to end the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this long video of our day of getting the car. We still have a few more hours of driving to go, but I like this car. I'm super excited and grateful to have it. And let us know what questions you have about this car. I think I'm gonna do a video explaining why we got two Model X's versus getting an S or a Model 3. Thanks for watching, guys. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs>